Geralt! So, how are you doing? You know me, my schemes. I hope to start a modest business in Vizima, bringing in goods from Mahakam. The Breckenrigs are pressuring me. From Mahakam? Any profit in that? I certainly hope so. I made some investments during the war. As they say, money needs to move. Just so long it doesn't run away. The Breckenrigs. Who are they? My future in-laws. I'm to wed Eudora Breckenrig soon, but my father-in-law-to-be puts too much stock in material things. The common cause mine where I worked after the war was a complete failure. I blame it on the bloody times. Zoltan, I found these strange dice. Looks like dwarven handiwork. It's poker with dice. Very entertaining. Requires less attention than cards, but it's just as exciting. Dice are a dwarven invention. Became popular after the war. Not surprising, given that every mercenary played. So how do you play? Let's shoot around, I'll show you. Finally, uh, someone sensible here. And you are? Luvarden, merchant. Of those Luvardens. Of those or not, I sense you have a job for me. Unfortunately. My friend disappeared in the cave beneath Vizima's walls. You think he's dead? I don't know. I'll pay you 200 orns to rescue him or provide for a decent burial. Will you take the job? All right. My friend tried evading the quarantine to enter Vizima. Why through the cave? We heard goods were smuggled into Vizima that way. I'll do what I can. Be careful. My friend has dealt with monsters before. If he's dead, surely danger follows. Ah, crap. I'm wasting time. You don't look like one to be lucky at love, but I wager your luck excels at dice. I know a bit about the game. Sir, I wouldn't cheat you. An honest game's what I propose. Honest? Why choose me? No one else is willing to sit down with you. Risk is your daily bread, that's clear. I'd consider it an honor to play you. My pouch is as empty as a smith's bellows. The peasants round here have nothing but cabbage to wager. A hunter, a worthy opponent, used to fancy a game. But I haven't seen him in a while. I'm not surprised. I don't doubt you fleeced him. To be frank, he loved high stakes, yet the dice disliked him from the outset. Who is this hunter you played? Must have been quite a lover, for I've never seen such ill luck on a man. He lost a lot of orans. Watch out. Love wanes. He'll be back for his gold. I think not, sir. You could smell the loser in him a mile off. The debts must be keeping him away. Can you make a good living at dice? That depends entirely on who one plays, sir. The wages are certainly larger in Vizima. And where in Vizima would I find someone willing to play? If your money pouch is bursting, try the new Narakort. You might also choose the hairy bear, if you have the nerve.
Army life's tough. We await help from the Order of the Flaming Rose. No need to rush. My legs hurt. Can you make me a princess? I want a sword like that. Have we met? Perhaps. I lost my memory. I've never heard that before, though it's possible. The little medic will care for you. Shani can't help. Shame. Ah, now I remember. Get out of Rivia. I hired you in Novigrad to rid my storage of Garcanes. If you say so. I hadn't sufficient coin, but you helped me nonetheless. Guess I was generous then. My business has grown, so I'll pay this old debt. I could use the gold. Here's one hundred orins. What was that? Freak or not? Many animals died from plague. I wonder how I'll feed my children. No time! I only know old fables. I'd gladly hear them. This story concerns the beast's minions. A hunter who bred bloodthirsty bloodhounds was murdered. This evil crime elicited a curse that transformed the bloodhounds into revengeful ghosts. These ghosts, called bar guests, persecuted the murderers until they tore them to pieces. Only then did the bar guests depart. Interesting story. Thanks. I'm bored. I despise you all. I hadn't expected so many children to die from the plague. My nose itches. Oh, I'm itching to slap somebody. I fucked a she elf once. Where are the orphans from the abandoned houses? White cold will soon engulf the world. The diseased were cremated, yet people still fear the plague. My throat's dry. G greetings to the honorable gentleman. You are? Haran Brog, merchant and middleman, at your service. What brings you here, w Witcher? What do you have to offer? The re reverence sent you, I presume? Of course. W why don't I b believe you? The eternal f, -f fire a gift from the reverend, I presume? The Reverend sent me. He thinks you need a witcher. I do. The d -d dead emerge from the river at the night. A ghastly cold blows from the water, making my flesh crawl. Help me. 
I'll s spare no exp expense. I'll help in exchange for information about Salamandra and throw in 100 orans for my expenses. I heard you were looking for s Salamandra, but if so, you're looking for trouble. It's no m matter to me. You, you have a deal. These d damned undead are my concern. They scare customers off and d d destroy my crates. And this is a valuable shipment for a special client. Where would I find these drowners? W where? At the river's edge. They creep out of the water after dusk. I see. Where are the orphans from the abandoned houses? Spare some booze. Your jest is unkind. Many animals died from plague. I wonder how I'll feed my children. No time! I only know old fables. I'd gladly hear them. I know a werewolf story. Years ago, a man from Vizima visited his beloved at night. One full moon, a wolf bit him by merchant's gate. Fur covered the man's skin. He grew wild with rage. Finally, he transformed into a werewolf. He tore his beloved and many militiamen to bits. The mayor hired a witcher who determined the cause was a curse. He removed it but never found the caster. A happy ending. Though I would have preferred it explained how to cure lycanthropy. That I don't know. Thanks anyway. Farewell. Ugh. No, I'm not talking. I only believe in the eternal fire. I shudder to think where the stall keeper finds Don't meat. get killed. Many animals died from plague. I wonder how I'll feed my children. No time! I only know old fables. I'd gladly hear them. Have you heard of Fledders? Tell me about them. When criminals and godless die, they arise as Fledders or vampires. They burrow from their graves, suck blood from the living. Those bitten also become vampires and further spread the disease. To destroy one, you must drive a wooden stake through its heart and decapitate it. Great story. But if vampires multiplied as you describe, they'd quickly control the world. Smart ass, eh? Damn you.
people cared for flowers once. Now I alone cultivate tulips. I saw bunches of flowers on the way. Oh, if you brought me but a small bouquet of wild flowers, I'd gladly give you tulips in exchange. I'll look around. A witcher here. Another ill omen. I found a mangled corpse at the crossroads. Don't get killed. Extraordinary. My grandson is dying of the plague. Will you show him mercy? What do you mean? Doesn't the white gull medicine grant relief? My grandson should die painlessly. Thanks. This elixir may help my grandson die in peace. Farewell. Wait. The Reverend refused to help, so I stole his ring. Use it well. Oh, you're weird. <laughs> Thought you were a bandit. They say abandoned houses became monsters' lairs. Ah, I'm old. Chickens are dying like flies from the plague. Let's play that. Let's instead. How about the beast comes for you? When the beast finds you, you'll die. This Teach me to boring. kill. Can you make me a princess? My dog spits blood. I want a sword like that. Army life's tough. Till tomorrow.
I should hurry. Greetings. Greetings. Yes, I'm a dwarf. No, I don't support the Skyatel. Yes, I've paid both taxes and bribes many times. Today, in fact. Calm down, I just wanted to talk. I'll be calm in my grave. Optimistically, that won't be long now. I'll try not to miss the funeral. Make sure and show up for the execution, too. They once herded me off to see a non-human get hanged. Let me tell you, laughed my head off. I gather they don't like non-humans around here. Neither here nor anywhere in the Northern Kingdoms. An official in Vizima recently won an innovation award. Invented a gallows especially designed for dwarves. What's so innovative about that? Nothing. But think of the savings. When you're producing them in the hundreds, all that extra wood can be used to make other goods. Toy swords, for instance. Can I ask you something? Yes. Who are the Scoyatal? Terrorists or firebrands, you'd call them. They're fighting for the rights of non-humans. Scoyatel is elven for squirrels. Called that due to the squirrel tails that dangle from their caps. Will I find any around here? You aiming to catch me off guard or just nosy? In any case, I'll not answer you. Fine. I wouldn't want to cause you trouble. Let's talk about something else. Yes? Why do the locals persecute non-humans? Why do pricks go in cunts? It's the natural order of things. Humans have always hated dwarves and elves. Not for me to know why. I'm not sure I understand. Then ponder it on your own. Or discuss it with that maggot brog. I don't talk to strangers about these things. Fine. Be alert. Be alert.